Hello friends, I hope you are well. Uh, it's a little bit late, the light is almost gone, but um, I have messages um, of people who are worried and they are scared and they don't know what to do. I think it's a time uh, where you really have to really be on what is right for you. It is um, to don't go out of your compass because uh, and be patient. Don't do things because you think you cannot do in another way or unless you are really, really obliged and you don't see any solution. But even if ask, ask, we can say your angels, I, for me it's my higher self, ask this invisible part of you that in a way is also experimenting things through you and try to be in touch with yourself to be in silence i'm not speaking about specific technique of meditation here it's just about breathing and be with yourself and do something you enjoy to do. Forget about everything. All this news around, uh, you may not know what to believe or not. So the best thing is to forget about them and to cut from this and to use this time to create something beautiful. So it can be a drawing, it can be some art or it can be some knitting or something you know that you really enjoy to do and when you do things with your hands i speak often about that when you do things with your hands in fact uh, it's free your mind it's almost it's like meditative it's like a ac meditative action uh, because your hands are on the same level as your art, it's the same area in the body. And when you work with your hands and you make something you like, it can be cooking, it can be, you know, just something you like, in fact, you feed your heart. And when your heart is fed, it's a place of your soul. So when you are, are art is fed, you start to have more joy inside and you start to nurture yourself and your frequency is raising. And when your frequency is raising, all these things around absolutely have no print on you. So the thing is in this time of uh, crisis, we can say it's crisis, it is really to go back to you, to do things that are pleasurable to you, to cherish yourself, to just be patient. Because there is something going on right now. A lot of sites are speaking about that. Maybe it can be a little bit abstract for some people, but it's a reality. The planet is raising our frequency and we are on the planet and we are as nature as a planet. We, we are part of this big organism. So if we are not too much in these news and system, of the society if we are more connected to ourselves in fact we connect to our organic and nature 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 wisdom and this only doing that is very simple only doing that yes gardening i see something about gardening it's perfect gardening is the best because you bring back to the ground everything that can be uh, difficult for you negative you know, very low vibration. You give back to the heart and the heart, the heart, earth, heart, it's a little bit similar somewhere, especially for a French who doesn't say very well the H. 
and uh, the planet Earth, in fact, um, will absorb and, and, and transmuted this and we can do the same thing and our way to do this is by creating heart because heart beauty is a direct connection with the divine so when we do this we elevate our frequency and when we elevate our frequency we are not in touch the same way we are not touched the same way by what is going on and yes, we are part of the universe and the universe is very, uh, there are a lot of things very strong going on right now. I'm not an astrologer, but I know that uh, there are some aspects very, very interesting and, and the full moon uh, was and still is in Aquarius. So it's about going back to ourselves to be better all together. And for this, we have to develop everything that we know to do the best, but not in a way to make out some money out of it, but in a way to really enjoy taking pleasure in creating something that for a while we're going to be out of time and space because it's what is going on when, when we create art, when we draw, when we do ceramics, when we paint, when we cook, when we garden. Time is like, doesn't exist anymore. And, uh, you know, it's like yesterday I was making necklaces. So soon maybe I will be ready to sell some, but not because they are all different and I love all of them. So I'm a little bit selfish and now I, I keep them for me. But I plan to sell some of them. But yesterday I saw, OK, I'm going to make one necklace and I have all my mess there, my boxes on the floor. I'm always on the floor. So and I started at eight to make a necklace. And after I've been inspired to make another one and another one and i realized it was already two o'clock in the morning i have not seen the time passing i didn't even stand up to go to pee i was like so absorbed i had my tea beside of me and i was in this excitement and one was bringing me to another one and, and it was so pleasant and after I, I slept and I wake up this morning, it was 9.30 and I was like, oh my goodness. But, you know, it's a time. So, and me, I'm in age, you know, where I'm not, uh, I'm not going to an office to work every day. So I really enjoy this time of my life. And this is one of the beauty of aging because you have this time for yourself. You don't have a family to raise anymore. Often you are retired. Me, I will never be retired. I love too much what I'm doing and I will do it until the end. But it's time in a life, especially for women, where we have really time to create other things that, you know, creation of flesh. We, 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 we can create so many things. We can read, taking pleasure in reading. And this is going to bring us, I'm reading also a book. So after at two o'clock, when I went to, to take my shower and I went to bed, I went in my book and I was like, oh, and I didn't want to sleep. I was too, and the energy, you know, was so strong. I, I, I was carried by that. And and I was like amazed. I said, oh, I cannot believe it. It's almost free and I'm still there enjoying, you know. So it's, it's about this, you know, you, it's a time where a lot of things is going on. And to be able to follow uh, the raising, the ascension of the planet, we have to be the most simple as possible. We have to eat the lighter as possible. We have to, to create as nature beauty. Like this, we go, we raise on the same frequency. We raise with the planet itself that is doing what she's doing the best. Beauty, creating, regenerating. And when we do that, we're going to go through this time in an easier way. 
and uh, it's it's really it's it can seem difficult when you have to work or you don't have work or it's complicated but i know a lot of people that i know directly or that i'm in touch with since many years through social media would change totally 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 their lives they have absolutely no regrets of their life of before and they will not comply to do things they don't want to do to lose their freedom to get back their life of before this you know thing from last year it's a it's a lure you will never go back to the like as it was before and when you know that this mean and you really face this this means that you are ready to jump in the unknown. We are ready to jump in something that it's exciting because you don't know what's going to be next. If you really minimize your needs, you go just on your basic human needs. Oh, someone took a badge. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's really kind of you. When, when you minimize and you go really to the simple basic needs, you can see that most of the needs can be satisfied in a free way, without money. I don't speak about the need of eating or food. Sure, you have still to buy food. But as I was saying before, we have a need that is very important as humans because it's connect. our soul is needing that through us. It's a need of uh, intensity. And this need of intensity, sure, we can have it by, you know, a very nice relationship uh, with a partner, with our children. But for ourselves, with ourselves, we have to find ways to satisfy this need because this need is directed, connected to our soul. And when our soul in a way is also happy the soul communicating more and more and you're gonna get more and more signs messages you're gonna see more and more synchronicities it's it's become more and more magic and uh, and it makes your daily life easier be, to go through what is going on and this what is going on gonna be even uh, narrower you have to be ready for that it's going to be more difficult and it's not because i am wanting to give you know negative thing it's a reality because it's going to go faster and faster and uh, now it's time where everything that is not clear or in, in, not in integrity going to be revealed so a lot of things so you can also see this for yourself if there are some area you are not really clear with yourself and it's not negative it's not you know something to criticize or judge not at all but maybe you can just observe it it's not obliged to do a big study of that it's not obliged but what is important is to face it to don't avoid to face it I think it's a little bit, I, I never did it, but it's a little bit the meaning of the confession. You do this with yourself. You evaluate, you see, you, but without being judging yourself, without being negative, without being, you know, uh, uh, meaning that, oh, yeah, I'm bad and uh, being ashamed of all that. No, you did an experience as human being because we came all here to make to have human experiences, you know. So you have to be tender with yourself to observe and to face that and say, yeah, it's like a little dialogue with yourself and you make the point, I don't know how you say in English, you, you, you evaluate and you say, oh, that, oh, yeah, oh, this, this relation, yeah, it was that, but also I discovered that and, oh, finally, it was not a nice situation, but I grew from that. I discovered so many things about myself. And uh, you can do this kind of uh, review, I can say, because I don't found all the words in English. You can do this review of this 
time in your life. And I think it's a good time to do that because <laughs> you're going to have, <coughs> I'm with my own saliva. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, you, you're going to have, um, you know, like to face <coughs> things quite not easy and we 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 know huh? we know what is going on all now now everybody knows now everybody knows we cannot say we are not aware of it you know so <laughs> so it's up to us to take decision and every decision is to respect but to be aware about what we are doing and to know exactly why we are doing you know, are we be ready to lose our freedom, medical freedom, freedom in anything, just to have some pleasure? I prefer to cook at home instead of going in a restaurant. If I am not free to go in a restaurant like I want to go, it's a question of choices. And my health, my integrity, the integrity of my body is much more precious than going two hours in a restaurant and uh, and and this is me i don't say this is but it's it is about choices it's a time of choices and the choices you make has to be with integrity with who you are simply and when you do that everything gonna unfold everything gonna unfold perfectly as i said you know you know me a little bit. I'm a, you know, a avid traveler. And since beginning of last year, I don't travel. And I don't miss it. I found other center of interest. I'm more rested because traveling a lot at my age is quite, you know, uh, tiring. All these jet lags and long time in the plane and all that. It's and now I'm like, wow, I feel good, you know. So I got, I gained something from that. And I'm more at home and I'm more with you that I was not doing before. And um, I developed my project and uh, now I'm making these necklaces. And I love it. I, I love that. And I don't miss it. Sure, I miss to see my family in Corsica. I miss also Corsica because it's really beautiful, but I'm fine here. I'm, I'm thankful at every moment because I am at peace. It's tiny, but it's very well, you know, set up and pleasant and beautiful. And I am enjoying when I go out, I see the plant of the neighborhood and I speak to them and I enjoy them. And I see them growing and I see them blooming and and it's like they are my friends since some years that I'm here now I know them you know and uh, it's like the, the the road is my garden I don't have a garden but the road is my garden and uh, and I make I, I make these my friends it seems crazy but I communicate with them I say oh you are looking really nice today because the light changes everything, you know, and all the time. So, so this is also a way to, to feed my soul. It just to admiring this beauty. I can be lie down and look at the clouds and how they move and the shape they have. And, and I lose myself in that sky and I feel good, you know. And uh, it's simple, it's free. And creating, you know, being in this thing can seem totally, you know, surreal for some, or, but it's there. Uh, it's there. I remember when I was in New York, people told me, oh, where is this foot pictures come from? Where did you took this picture? It's so beautiful. I say here, right here picture of the sky. I say right here, the sky is beautiful. Even if you're in a city, just open your eyes. You just look instead of looking the ground. Open, read, put your body straight and look and, and 
watch and see it's there so it's that you know it's a question of presence a question of presence and more you you are present to what is right for you more you are with integrity with yourself and more you will see by a concourse of circumstances you're gonna go through what is going on in an easy way that some people will not understand they say oh you don't realize what is going on yes <laughs> yes i realize yes i'm amazed because i see a bigger picture and I see that all this is perfectly orchestrated for the best. I see this like a big growth crisis, like a child that is growing, it's painful in the body. And the body is the planet now. And uh, it's a collective growth and health crisis. So, you know, it's like, it's that um, I see someone who said, what about my 17 years old daughter? Not as, yeah, sure, my, my granddaughter is 16. It's not easy. Uh, but don't forget that everybody that is here on the planet right now, their soul decided to be here for the experience. So nobody is a victim. And uh, they have to found other center of interest. They have to develop things that doesn't exist yet. They have to, uh, I think the, the return on our self gonna make a lot of people discovering treasure in themselves that they don't even imagine. New ways of working gonna emerge. New ways of creating new things using technology but also going back to simple things made by hand a lot of things gonna change and this is th th things that we cannot even imagine look like 30 years ago who would imagine we will be like this chatting all around the world with that you know so it is um it's it's like that, you know, it is, uh, it's a time like that. They, this soul decided. You say she wants to go to college, but uh, she won't take it. You know, it's simple. My granddaughter with my son, we saw, and they are totally uh, in the way that she will not take it and she will not go to college. That's it. But it's not complicated. And they will find another way for her to study. So you have to use the system as well. You have to also, because you know, degrees, it's not uh, the only thing that's gonna make me able to succeed in life. And this is also something uh, that I think has been in an extreme in the civilized uh, society, like uh, we are here, especially in the US, uh, to put, putting too much accent on degrees and uh, taking loan to m make studies. It's like when I came in this country, this blew my mind. Please blow my mind. I, people were paying loan, their student loan for life almost. I, it's like, it's unbelievable. It, it's really like a vicious circle. And there are people who have no degree and they are succeeding in things that they like. And there are people who have no degree who are working very hard. I'm thinking especially at the farmers because farmers market is very dear to me. And I respect very much these people and they don't have degrees. And you have also people with degrees and this started like 30 years ago in France, in Paris. Some people uh, in their 30s, yeah, 25, 30s, felt to go back to the island in Corsica. And they had degrees. And they felt to quit the city. And this is something I was saying at that time. We have to quit the city. We have to quit the cities. Because I felt something was coming, you know. It's not complicated. You just observe how the city evolves. When you are 25 years in Paris, you see how it was 25 years before and how it is 25 years after. And you see that it will not be better. 
so you just make a change you know and uh, and these people uh, decided to go back to the island or to some places in the countryside in uh, in France and they some raised you know goat and sheep and they make cheese some made plantation or collect of white plants to make essential oils soap candles a lot of artisan and and, and they live very happy because in fact we don't need a lot you can have your orchard when you are in the countryside especially when you are south of france you know winter are quite mild and you can have a peaceful simple life so it's that where are your priorities is your priorities to go to restaurant every evening so you have to do what it's need to do for that and uh, if it's not that you do what you need to do for your priorities it's very simple in fact it's it's not complicated and every choice is a good choice it's up your what you need it's up what what you have to experience as human being I see someone else took a badge. Thank you very much. Someone told me, I don't know how badge is working. The money you send there goes to a kind of, I can say box, to badges area. And I f after, they gonna send this on my bank account uh, each month. And like that, after I collect that money and I put it for the orphanage. So this is, uh, this is my goal with badges. It's tiny amount and it can make a big difference. And uh, so I thank you very much for collecting, for doing this. It's really, really kind of you. Yeah, you see, it's all about priorities, desire. If you are too much frustrated because you cannot go out, do what you think is right for you. But you have the choice. Uh, you can compromise and uh, maybe alter your health or you can decide that for a while because it will not be always like that it's going to change but for a while you change and maybe you're going to find some pleasure in changing you know you're going to find maybe some pleasure and uh, we're going to discover something of yourself that you didn't know before. And this is fantastic because after you cannot go back. After when, when you discover something that is really making a big difference in your way to live, nothing can make you go back. Nothing. <laughs> Oh, someone else took a badge. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is really, really kind. Someone say, why don't you answer my message? You cannot believe it. I have hundreds of messages. I cannot answer. I cannot. I just sometimes put a heart or something. I, I don't have time for that. I have a life too, you know. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I wanted to to tell you. Just be patient. Be patient. Be firm on what is right for you. Don't worry, you came here to have the experience. Be clear with what, with what is right for you. You have to be really clear. What is your priority? What is the most important thing for you? And you go for it. That's it. It's not complicated. It's very simple. <laughs> Someone told me one day I'm going to make you a t-shirt. It's not complicated. It's very simple in the bag. It's true. It's true. And uh, some people, you know, live in a too complicated life. And it makes their life even more complicated, you know. Uh, you say you missed about college and education. I have not been in, uh, you know, in university. I had two children at 17. I was mother at 20. I had two children and I learned so much by myself, something that I would never learn at school or and because mostly about health, mostly about the body, because it's fascinated me since very young. There are different ways to learn and my body make me learn by, you know, being hurt, by pain, by sicknesses, 
I learned uh, directly in my flesh how it works. And uh, it's fantastic. And I discovered so many things. And uh, I think these things that I discovered through my body should be taught at school, but they are not. And this is the base because this makes you be in harmony with the planet because you are connected to nature law. And it's not what we learn at school. It's not what is given in education, unfortunately. Yeah, you see, it's like, um, it's all about that. Someone say would love to join. I don't know what you want to speak about, you know, because I think it's almost night here and I will have no light. Maybe we can do this another time. Yeah, so, you know, look at your children. Look what they enjoy to do. And maybe right there, there is a direction of what they're going to develop. And um, it's very simple, but be present, observe. Because sometimes you can pass by about something uh, very, very, um, very important for them to be happy in their life. Because the orientation the children would love to take, sometimes it seems crazy but often it's already there. It's already there, but maybe they will have to have some life experiences to be able to reach that point. I'm speaking about that because it's what happened to my son. And uh, he wanted to make jewelry when he was a little boy and to be archeologist, archeologue. And, um, is soon 50 years old and since some years is a kind of working in jewel and is a kind of archaeologue too so it's quite very very interesting very interesting process so observe and give the opportunity for them to do what they really enjoy to do and they will try and maybe they will forget about it for a while and it will come in another shape. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna let you because uh, I have almost no light now. I thank everybody for the badges. Thank you, thank you very much. And we can, um, we can speak about, you wanted to speak about the body another time. And um, it can be, uh, interesting to exchange because the body is the most amazing thing <laughs> thank you good night and have a nice weekend i don't know maybe i'm gonna come uh, maybe i'm gonna come tomorrow with with another video i'm not sure thank you bye bye